Well, there's extra security at movie theaters all across the country this weekend for the opening of the new movie, The Joker. The movie is a dark and psychological take on the original story of Batman's arch nemesis. <laughs> This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. All right, so the movie has already shattered records for an October movie, pulling in $40 million in yesterday's opening, but many are hoping it doesn't become noteworthy for something else, as you can see there. Uh, critics warn it could spark violence, especially given the 2012 mass shooting in Aurora that happened during the screening of another Batman film, The Dark Knight Rises. Um, so movie chains are doing a lot. Take a look at some of the scenes from overnight. And police are working together with them to add security and undercover officers, theaters also told customers to not wear masks or costumes. Uh, theater chain Alamo Draft House went so far as to issue a parental warning that the film contains, quote, brutal violence and overall bad vibes. Even though it's an R movie, so you think people would know that, but it goes beyond that. Well, joining me now for more on this, Dominic Patton, who's a senior editor for Deadline Hollywood. Dominic, thank you for joining us. As I mentioned, this movie is making some records already. It's expected to be a big boom for the box office throughout the throughout uh, the weekend and October, for that matter. Not going to discuss that. I want to talk about the fear and the fear factor that exists within the movie theaters. What is it that is happening, and why do they think that this movie might trigger some sort of uh, violence? Well, there's a number of reasons. I mean, we have seen, as you mentioned here in the, in the introduction, what happened in 2012 in Aurora, Colorado, the terrible, terrible fatal mass shooting at a midnight screening for The Dark Knight Rises. The Joker is, as you mentioned, an R-rated movie, the first one in the Batman franchise, in fact, the first one almost in many comic book movies, and it is extremely violent, paying homage to Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy, which we all know had a lot of gunplay in it. This one has graphic, graphic violence, and again, it also has something that I think is, that is more triggering in this age of seemingly mass shootings, which is that it is, like many of the profiles of people we see in mass shootings, a disgruntled young white man who has social and cultural issues and is looking for an outlet. So I think, as we have talked to, as I have talked to LAPD and NYPD sources and others across the country, people are on alert. We've already seen one movie theater in uh, Huntington Beach here in California shut down because of a credible threat. The FBI have been involved. The military have told members of their uh, the services to be careful of credible threats they've heard. And of course, as I exclusively reported, the NYPD have undercover officers in some of the theaters to just be a little extra careful in case something happens. Yeah, they even had an incident here in New York City yesterday during day one where there was one person who, I guess, uh, had to be escorted out because he was sharing at all of the murder scenes, to which there were many during this movie uh, 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 at, at, at the screening. Um, really quickly here, in the making of this movie, uh, did they kind of worry about bringing something like this, this violent, uh, uh, that might trigger some violence as well at theaters? I don't think so. I think the rollout for this movie that Warner Brothers put together was one that was masterful, which is why you're about to see it, as you said, break an October record. And I might point out, trivia, be the biggest opening of Robert De Niro's career, who actually appears in The Joker. Um, this was rolled out at the Venice Film Festival. It won mm -hmm. the Golden Lion. It was shown at the Toronto Film Festival. It did well there. They have been like an army moving up towards the gates of box office opening with this. Okay. So the massive opening we're seeing worldwide that might end up being over $200 million, yep. that is a part of a plan. This is iconic. This okay. is Batman canon. We're looking at 80-year-old characters. Are they highly effective? Of course. Look at some of these movies. All right. But... This one might be pulling some triggers that we don't want to see, if you know what I mean. That exactly. Um, we'll leave it there. Dominic Patton from Deadline Hollywood. It, hope it creates record. Hope it doesn't become noteworthy for anything else. Um, of course. Coming up.